Hello my friends, welcome to another exciting episode in our Photoshop design series. In this video, I'll be showing you how I created this poster inside of Photoshop. So if you don't mind, let's go together on this journey. If you've not purchased your Smart Designer Premium Asset, now is the right time to get yours so that you don't get to miss all of this asset inside of this package for you. And also, if you've not gotten your Sci-Fi Fantasy Pack, you've not gotten your Coral Draw Design Templates, all of these are Coral Draw Templates, you can click the link in the description of this video to get yours. And don't forget, if you've not subscribed, now is the best time to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of the videos I'll be dropping. But I haven't seen much, let's get started. So the first thing I like to do is click on File and then um, click on New like this. So while clicking on File and New, and um, I'm just going to make changes here, inches 4 by 5 resolution stays at 300, every other thing stays the same, and I'm going to click Create like this. Right, so click on Create, and when you click on Create, it opens up like this and voila you have your interface this way okay so the first thing i need to do is set up my background like in any design click on adjustment layer and i'm going to click on solid color like this so i'm going to use this color you can copy this color code and uh, use it so it's the foreground color so just copy and paste there and uh, click ok like this so next thing i want to do is i haven't done this i'm just going to go over to do another basic thing which is um going over to where i have my resource file right so um with this done what i'm going to do is go back to resource file the link to this resource file is in the description of this video so do well to download it research the resource file is always in the description of this video so I'm just going to drag and drop here like this. And the main reason why I'm bringing this in at this time is so I can sample colors from this object and also get my object placement, right? So click enter to place transform like this. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make this image pop, right? So um, with making it pop, I'm just going to go to filter and go into camera raw. So go to filter and select camera raw. And it's going to come up like this and a couple of things i'm going to do here so the first one i like to do is go over to where i have texture increase my texture like this and um, i also want to um, throw in a bit of the haze vibrance also and click ok like this right so haven't done this you can see that the image is a little bit more pop than it was before Come here, create a new layer here and make sure um, you can sample a lighter color or you can uh, make things easy for yourself. Come here, sample this color. Make sure it's a lighter version of the yellow that we had before. Right, select your brush. Make sure you're using soft round pressure opacity brush. You can get this under the general brushes like this and then um, what you want to do is increase the size of the brush and uh, you can do this manually and automatically too right so i'm just going to do this with the help of my shortcut using my bracket key to increase or decrease as i like it so i'm just going to paint twice you can see one two you can see that you can paint more than twice depending on how it comes out create another new layer this time i'm going to use a lighter version compared to what i used for the yellow so i'm just going to use this color code for this and um, i'm going to make my brush smaller and i'm just going to double one two three four so what i just did is i just made um like the connection between the first color the second color and the background color so i'm just going to name this bg light right and i'm just going to leave it like that and um i think i'm i want to increase the size make the lights bigger so i'm just going to control t and uh, make it bigger like this and of course when i achieve what i want to achieve i'm just going to click enter like this and voila there you go 
You can duplicate it to make it more brighter. Like I have just done here. So this also works. The next thing I'm going to do is bring in the image. I have this blood image. You can see it's part of the element too. So I'm just going to have this in the positions that it's supposed to be. So what I just applied to these things is just blow. I just gave them a blow value, blow, filter, blow, Gaussian blow. If you've watched my previous tutorials, you would see how this was done in those videos, right? So I'm just going to increase this a bit like this. And um, when it's done, you can see that the poster is begin beginning to take shape and all of that. So one thing I want to do again is um, move this upward like this. And uh, PG lights, I'm going to move the light upward too, using my arrow key to move it. That's why you're not seeing anything, but it's actually moving. All right, I'm just going to move this also upward manually like this. And um, the next thing I'm going to do is I had my text type out so I don't get to waste um, time um, filling all of this. So I'm just going to bring this in like this and click enter. It's move this upward like this and i have it in the position where i need it to be right so i might just choose to make this bigger like this and i'm pleased um with the position it is currently right so you have most of the elements interacting with themselves so let's go on and add a bit of light to all of these things so to get our lights i'm going to sample this color yeah i'm going to sample this color here Click OK. I'm going to use my brush. Set my brush with the same brush. I'm still using the same brush. If you get this, make sure you turn on your cap, turn off your caps lock, and um, reduce the size of the brush. I'm just going to double once, just once, and I'm going to turn the blend mode to screen. Apply the same thing um, somewhere around here. Yes, because it, this place it looks lightened up already, and. Um, around here also so i'm going to create a new layer like this with the same brush i'm just going to have some light effect here i'm going to change this to linear dodge add to make it more brighter than the other areas i'm going to bring this down it's going to be on the mango but i'm going to reduce the the intensity so i'm just going to go here ways as opacity i'm just going to bring it down like this and um yeah so there you have it right so a couple of things that i want to do to make this whole process interesting go to adjustment layer and color balance we need to balance all the colors so the colors are perfect so in the mid-tones i'm just going to adjust you can use my settings and um, shadows also tilt towards the red you can see how much value i'm adding and for the highlights, instead of going to blue, I'm going to go over to the red region. So it gives me this, um, this popped feeling, this mangoish feeling, this natural fresh feeling. I don't know if you understand, but that's the goal, right? Okay, so guys, I've come to the end of this video. If you've liked this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you've not subscribed, please kindly hit the subscribe button. I will see you in the video just up ahead. I love you guys.